A video of the chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal physically assaulting a security man has gone viral. Take a look at the moment Dan Ladi Umar slapped the security guard at Banix Plaza in Abuja. Oh God, you have lost the case. Your power will not save you. Well, as you saw in the video, Umar also kicked the guard before he was restrained and then led into his car. In a reaction to the video, the spokesman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal, Ibrahim Al-Hassan, said the security man had threatened Umar. According to Al-Hassan, the security man was rude to Umar when he requested to park his car at a vacant space at Banex Plaza. Usawagi, this just reminds me of the story of the senator representing Adamoa, Elisha Abu, when he went into an adult shop and attacked a lady. That video went viral. We, you know, we did reports about it and all of that. But from what we've, we saw in the video and the explanation we got was that he had gone, Danadi Umar had gone to Banex Plaza to repair his phone. He had packed in the parking lot, and the security guard told him that he couldn't pack there. Told him he couldn't pack there. He had to maybe leave the parking spot and pack somewhere else. But the driver refused. That fight happened, and you know, we, we saw slaps and kicks. But the reaction here is that he's saying he was the one who was attacked. I really don't understand well. where this is coming from because the video evidence is glaring. Well, um, so first of all, um, with the amount of, you know, uh, personnel and aides that you see attached to the chairman of the Code of Conduct Bureau, um, you know, it doesn't really add up, you know, that he has to drive to Banex Plaza to drop his phone with a repair or anything like that, you know. But that aside, um, video evidence doesn't, you know, also corroborate with the story. Or that, tell the you full know, the story. Explanation, yes. You know, but it also doesn't support, you know, the explanation by the uh, uh, spokesperson of uh, the um, uh, chairman. But that's not, you know, really where my challenge is. My challenge is if you read further into the explanation by the Code of Conduct tri Tribunal chairman and uh, his spokesperson, um, it says... You know, as if you let, I'm just going to read, you know, a few of the paragraphs. It says, as a few policemen in the complex were apparently overwhelmed by the mobs and consisting of, listen to this, Biafran boys throwing matches. I, I guess this was meant to be machetes or cutlasses. I'm not sure what they were trying to spell here. And shape objects to his car. I'm reading from their statement now. So um, the person who ever put out the statement couldn't even spell certain things. Um, so it says they were throwing matches and shape objects to his car, which led to a deep cut and dislocation of one of his finger, causing damage to his car, smashing his windscreen. The, the clip also doesn't show anything like that. At a point, he attempted to leave the scene. The same miscreant's Biafran boy ordered for the closure of the gate, thereby assaulting him before the arrival of a police team from uh, Maytama Police Station. An incident like this, when it happens, sympathy usually goes to low personalities, though is unfortunate, as I said, it ought not to have happened. Um, it also says the policemen seen in the video cliff uh, were not... Oh, is that spelled C-L-I-F? C-L-I-F-F. Oh, wow. Were not um, the chairman's, or from the chairman's police team, the policemen operating around the plaza, who at first... Anyway, it, 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 so what I'm trying to point out here, there's no, really no need going through the script, is the part where... Somehow, some way, these are no longer people who were assaulted. These are no longer customers or, or, or traders at Banex Plaza. They are now termed Biafran boys. Um, and that, for me, is a very, very low uh, point. You know, Such that colorism. whoever it is, that, whoever know, it is that put out that statement. Colorations to this. I don't know how that really got It is shameful. From it is saying really, really shameful. He was being rude to you, to saying he's, even if he was a Biafran boy, 
How does that justify you attacking him? I feel that political office holders should be able to comport themselves in a certain way. You should not go randomly slapping people, hitting people. Thank God for the CCTV evidence. If not, he would, he would go away with this or get away with this. And who knows how many people he's done this to. Because it's not the first time. We've seen evidence of political office holders being condescending to other people, even going as far as hitting them physically. That's just terrible. That's it's a, assault. It's, a, it's, a, it's embarrassing. You know, but this is, for me, is another day in the life of you know, being a Nigerian. This is you know, some of the things that we see any, any, every other day. And for pers a person who holds a position as high as the chairman of the Code of Conduct, Code of Tribunal, Conduct. who, you know, was <laughs> one of those people responsible for the, um, um, uh, you know, removal of former CJN Walter Onoge, this is even more embarrassing for him in that position. Um, so I don't, I don't, you know, expect, you know, of course, it's Nigeria, we are, I don't expect that this will in any way hurt his career or hurt his position as uh, chairman of Code of Conduct Tribunal, but... Um, it, it doesn't stop us and Nigerians from speaking out against these things. What sort of a, he's a chief magistrate, he's a lawyer about his state. What sort of a judgment would you expect if your case was before such, you know, a chief magistrate? You know, if it was a case of a political office holder and a security guard who was assaulted. What, do, what sort of a judgment would you expect? So this all goes back to the integrity issue that we've been talking about. What sort of a According judgment to the video would you that also seen, expect? If a person from the Southeast mm -hmm. is brought before him, if it is so easy to, to, to describe a, a person boy. that was being assaulted and people who were present at the Banex Plaza, Biafran boys, then I, I really don't know where else we are going. And That's if you terrible. listen to the clips and the video you know, that, that, we, that we showed, you hear absolutely nothing that suggests IPOB or Biafra or, any, or, or something in the Southeast. So it... it it, for me, is, is really, really shameful. And instead of a proper apology to the person who was assaulted and everybody who was embarrassed yes. by that clip and to proper Nigerians, damage control. Yeah, it's sad. You simply apologize. And not whoever it defend is. defend that and make the situation worse. Anyways, whoever just, it is also uh, putting out a statement needs to learn how to spell said words because <laughs> um, you cannot be earning taxpayers' money and be on that position representing such a person of, um, so, uh, a person of that <laughs> caliber and can't spell certain simple words. Thanks anyway for being with us this morning. It's my birthday. I should not be upset. Yes, you should. But thanks be. a lot Let's for, turn up. <laughs> for being a part of the program this morning. If you yeah. missed out on any of it, get with us on social media platforms at Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel. I am Osaogi Ogbonwa. And I am Anetta Felix saying, have a great day. Don't forget to wish Osaogi happy birthday on all social media platforms. Happy birthday again. Thanks a lot. Yes, and bye bye.